Tuesday evening, we're going to have a watch party and watch election results come come through. So you're certainly invited. There's going to be a good, good food and good company. Another a number of other candidates uh, that I'm supporting are going yeah. to be uh, be there as well, and uh, we're just going to uh, watch those numbers come in. Yes, with, with our um, with knees bent and in prayerfully and with fingers crossed as well. So feel free to come by. Gotta watch. And, That's right. and, and bring that energy with you. That's right. Watch with us one hour. Punch two four four. Listen, listen. Well, this is hot. We also judge, you know, we got you on as well over there. Uh, they checking you out on Periscope. Oh. <laughs> Can y'all see Judge? See, now, now they can really see. Yeah, ju Judge head is shining over here, y'all. He was ready. He was ready. <laughs> uh, and listen, I told him, Latanya, we definitely we gotta ha have him on uh, uh, on your show as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, come talk to me. Yeah, I'd love definitely. To. Yes, yeah. yes. Listen, Judge, tell him what 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 number to punch. Punch two four four. Who could ask for more in the second Woo. circuit race? Two, I like four, that. Four. That's right. <laughs> now don't be walking down the street trying to punch somebody talking about you gonna punch them two hundred and forty four times. Right. <laughs> we talking about going to vote, child. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, the punch is not literal. It's, right. it's figurative. That's right. It's figurative. And, and I love you all because uh, attorney Travis Richardson is down to earth. You, you know, you, yeah. you meet a lot of attorneys, a lot of judge. You know, they so high minded you can't re reach out to them or talk to them. But I thank God, you know, when I seen you yesterday, you was so humble, and when you was talking, and so professional, and you was right on point, and I was like, oh, man, this is the man. Yeah, this well, is the man. you know, one of the poems that I learned uh, when I was pledging was If by Rudyard Kipling, and one of the lines that really stayed with me was, yes, sir. if you can walk with kings... Nor lose the common touch. Mm. And I think that's very important. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I've made a career of being able to communicate effectively with my clients, many yes. of whom uh, do not even have a high school education. Wow. And there's a certain way that they communicate that I think is, is as legitimate as any other form of communication. Yes, but sir. at the same time, when I'm representing them, I have to have another form of communication mm -hmm. when I am making my record and uh, communicating with yes, the sir. court. Yes, sir. And that takes, I think, uh, practice. It takes uh, specialization in communications. Yes, sir. Uh, because if I spoke to my clients mm -hmm. the way that I speak in court, I would lose them. Wow. Because that shows, in my opinion, uh -huh. that I'm not recognizing that there's a legitimate form of communication back on the streets and yeah. in the hood and back on the land, as they say, yeah. that's just as legitimate as the form of communication that is used in court. So I speak to them the way that they speak to each other so that I can effectively communicate what's going <coughs> on with their cases. Yes, sir. At the same time, when I'm advocating, I use the kind of... Uh, the kind of communication skills that uh, that I honed when I was at the University of Pennsylvania and the University of Michigan Law School. So, uh, that having been said, yeah, I can talk to anybody about anything. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir, and I love it. And the brothers, well educated, you can tell, and I and I love it, man. Listen, go out and punch that number. Listen, call in right now. Call in seven seven three. 752-9249. The number is 773. You all know the number. 752-9249. Listen, go to the website. If, if uh, uh, you're listening or you're riding or you're about to get ready to go in, because some of you all might be going in, going to work late. I know who you are. So listen, <laughs> uh, get on the web right now. www.gospel1570.com www.gospel1570.com <laughs> Listen, give us two minutes. Let's go to this song. This is my boy, James Fortune, Never Again. Let's go to this song, James Fortune, Never Again. We'll be right back. You know, he just, uh, he just, uh, uh, maybe I need to pause. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, he just, um. His wife? Yeah, pleaded guilty, yeah. Hey, how What's you doing? Man? I'm Latonya. <laughs> <laughs> he told me you'd be coming in like a whirlwind. Oh, right, yeah. I'm going to be fired up. Y'all see the Tasmanian devil on the uh, Y'all see the devil on the All you see is a little tornado with hands. Y'all see it. 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 Y'all see it
<laughs> shit to happening. I, I'm at work, so mm-hmm. I stop and pause and come hang out with, with, mm-hmm. with Gil over here. Yeah. Like, bro. Excellent. That's my Excellent. phone. Uh, that's somebody. That might yeah, be that's, judged. No, nah, that's me. My big sister. What's the calling? Okay. Well, Tanya, I, um, <clears throat> I want you to ask Judge uh, uh, a little bit when we go back in about okay. um, his office, you know. And what and their everything. intentions are. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he going through, man. Uh, James Fortune, this guy, the, the one was playing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they said... Uh, they say he had his wife with a chair or something. Yeah, that wasn't He's the known, first. He's very known recording, gospel recording album. Yeah. With a chair. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know he just went on here and pleaded guilty, but nobody knows really what happened in their home. But them. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, my advice has always been keep your hands to yourself, even if you got to leave. Yeah. yeah. Even if you got to walk out. Yeah. <clears throat> Because one bruise, right. you lose. Mm-hmm. And so and then I know she was she was his manager too. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, she managed it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but the, and one thing that people don't realize that it doesn't matter what status you had, everybody yeah. has an yeah. issue or something that they're going yeah. through and they yeah. need to, you know, yeah. everybody has something. Mm-hmm. You know, an area of growth. I got to mention uh, the sponsor. Okay. You wrote down your checklist. Right. <laughs> you know I'll be forgetting. <laughs> I never see hey, you again. Hey, hey. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go, you all. Listen, listen. You're back on the air uh, with Jay Gill and Latanya, wow. Apostle Joe, and, and, and Apostle Kish is out. But listen, you all, we had a one and only, one and only attorney, Travis Richardson, in here running for Circuit Cook County Circuit Court Judge. Listen, you all, this man is powerful. But listen, I got to give a shout out to our sponsor, uh, Timco, Timco Company. Listen, if you need your credit done, listen, call them right away. Your credit, your credit, 877-598-4626, 877-598-4626, extension 712. Listen, also your tax, Ameritax, Ameritax, you need to get your taxes done. Listen, call them. Listen, they helping a lot of people. They helping a lot of people get their taxes. They're giving you back the full max on your taxes. Call them 877-598-4626, extension 712, extension 712, 877-598-4626, extension 712. The song you heard earlier, you all, is by James Fortune. Never again, listen, let's keep them in prayer. Him and his wife, keep that family in prayer. No matter what the situation is, God can turn that situation around. Keep them in prayer. Amen. God bless you all. Uh, Miss Latonya. What up? <laughs> Listen, girl. We have the one and only attorney, Travers Richardson, in here who's running for a circuit court judge. Saluting. Everybody all rise. Everyone rise. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> hey, y'all, when y'all go in there to Tim Cole, y'all tell him, show me the money. Right. Tell them that y'all heard it on Gospel 1570 with Jay Gill and Latonya. Say, show me the money, Tim. Right. Show me the money. But we excited to have, man, I think, that, is this the first attorney that has come into uh, into the station with us? This year. Wow. <laughs> Not wow. 2016, he, but he, last year. I... <laughs> he, he breaking inspiration in right here, right, right. now, Gospel 1570. <laughs> now, attorney, what is the intentions of your office? What will make people punch? Two, four, four. Well, the, f- the first thing I tell people is that when you start thinking about a judicial candidate, you need to look for three things generally, and that's one experience. Uh, you need to look for um, two qualifications and three, yes. compassion. Mm-hmm. And I have the experience having practiced for uh, nearly 20 years, actually 18 and a half years. I've been an assistant, a special assistant state's yeah. attorney, a special assistant corporation counsel. I've tried cases in federal court, state court, bench and jury, criminal and civil. Uh, I've been uh, a, a hearing officer for the Chicago Board of Elections, so I have quasi-judicial experience. You also want to look for someone who's qualified, and those qualifications yeah. are de- determined by our own community, meaning yeah. the bar associations 
And I've already said that I've got uh, all positive ratings from the mm -hmm. bar associations. Wow. And finally, you need someone who has compassion because someone who has compassion and understands the human condition can, can have fidelity to the law but also understand that, one, people, I think, deserve a second chance, and, and two, um, you want to make sure that you're just not jailing people for yeah. minor offenses and understand. Mm -hmm. See, I get tired of seeing 17-year-old boys. Yes, sir. Walking in the 26th Street, in 26th in California, now known as the Layton Building, and mm -hmm. walking away with a felony that they're going to have for the rest of their life, if it can be avoided. Yes, sir. You know, so you need someone who has compassion and understands mm -hmm. that just because someone's brought before you with a criminal charge right. does not mean that they are guilty. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I'm not reckless. Right. Um, violence tends to be intra-community, intra-cultural, right. intra-racial. So if violence is met upon someone uh, who's African-American, very likely it was an African-American who did it. Right. And so if the state can prove their case by uh, beyond a reasonable doubt, and I intend to hold them to that standard, it's yeah. the highest standard under the law, then I don't have a problem with giving someone who's a dangerous individual um, uh, an extended vacation. Yes. Yeah. But... I think that there should be alternative. Right, hold uh, on. He said, extended <laughs> vacation. <laughs> Without no cocoa. Without right. no cocoa. Exactly. <laughs> no coconut. No right. coconut. Exactly. <laughs> so, but, you know, all those things should be kept in mind when, when you are casting your ballot because very likely once yes. you elect someone to the bench because they never have to run again, they only have to right. run for retention, very mm -hmm. likely that person's going to be there until they retire. Yes, right. sir. So that's something that they should really keep in, one, in mind. That's why I say, Punch 244, who could ask for more? Travis Richardson for circuit court judge in the second sub-circuit, which is on the south side of Chicago. Yes. And sure. goes into the south suburbs. Yes. <laughs> Listen, you all, this man here, I'm telling you, that I tell you, he's so humble, but yet speak powerful. Hey, you seen that uh, that little boy? He be like, "Listen, Linda, listen, listen, yeah. listen, Linda. I need you, listen, Linda. I need you to punch two four four. Listen, Linda, right. listen, Linda. You punching the wrong number. Right. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> listen, listen. But see, folk don't understand. You know, church folk love to have fun. They think it's all about being sound that's right. and praying all day. And, and, that's and right. That's an aspect of it. But if you really want to have some fun, get get with some church folk. You're going to have a ball. I need <laughs> just a little more Jesus. I need. <laughs> I, I, I love it. You all, I'm telling you, go punch that number on Tuesday, 244. Listen, you have five minutes to call in now. I know you all have some questions, but you need to call right now before we get off air. Call and ask whatever on your mind. Call right now, 773-752-9249. Once again, 773-752-9249. We're with our boy, our brother, our friend, the Honorable Dr. <laughs> the soon-to-be Judge Travis Richardson. All right. Yeah. All right. That's right. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait. It's, it's good. You know what? You know, thank God God have made all of us. I don't, I don't care what color you are, but I, I, thank this, I thank God to see one of our brothers that's going in and uh, helping uh, the people that need to be helped because now there's so much going on in the political arena, yeah. and we need the real, the true, real men and women that's going to go on there and do uh, the right thing for uh, do the work. people out here. That's do right. the work. That's you know, right. so many times people, they want the title, but they don't want to do the work. They right. just do the work up until the title, and then when they get the title, they, you know, are not still humble, and they right. just want the title, yeah. you know, and then they sit back and relax. That's the time when you really get in the grind and pull up them sleeves and get to it. Right. That's, that's right. That's called robitis. We call that in the legal community robitis. That's mm -hmm. when someone is uh, elected to appointed to the bench and all of a sudden the person who you knew ain't there no more right mm. and they begin a certain degree of hubris sets in and they become haughty and you, yes sir and it's you can't call them jim or bob or mary anymore mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. no 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 it's judge well 
Okay, thank you. Right. Well, you know, <laughs> that, that goes across the board because some pastors, you got to kiss the ring. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, no, my name is Bishop. Well, there you go. No, there you go. No, the time. Not, <laughs> not <get> a <laughs> wall. <laughs> right. Look, look, I don't care what it is. At the end of the day, they used to call me Lou Chang Lang. But right. the, or Pocahontas or Lulu. But at the end of the day, I'm Latonia. You know? Right. <laughs> People don't even know the titles that's on my name. There's, I just there you operate go. Yeah. good. Hey, what you right. see is what you get. We got a call. That's, that's right. We got a call. Minute. For a no, you know what? No. Normally, Time go now watch this. Now, as soon as we get off judge, they're gonna start calling. Call. Right. <laughs> they gonna stop. And, and, will you tell them? And I'm telling you, you need to call now because once we get off air, we're gone. Sometimes we wait around a few minutes because we get a lot of calls. Normally, you you have the uh, the soon to be judge in here. He is the judge. I'm calling him judge now. We're claiming, and so he's gonna be leaving uh, right out. So you need to call now. Don't be waiting. And sometimes y'all be talking about, oh, uh, I was waiting or I'm, I'm calling right out. No. But no, you know I'm what? Gone. If you guys miss him, he also has a website, richardsonforjudge.com, and that's the number four, judge.com. So you guys can stay connected to him and find out what he's doing, right, Judge? Absolutely. On my yeah. website, you can go in there and you'll see a prompt for a map of the sub-circuit. So you'll see that it starts, at, once again, at 87th Street between Ashland and Dan Ryan. Yeah. And then goes into the south suburbs. It's the 9th Ward, 21st Ward, and 34th Ward, Thornton Township, parts of Bremen Township, and the upper mm. northeast part of Worth. Uh, excuse awesome. me, Bloom. Bloom. So check that out. Also, you'll see uh, a list of my endorsements, which includes the Chicago Tribune. It includes the Chicago Citizen, the Chicago Crusader, oh, come on, somebody. the Soul Name Slate, them. Reverend Jesse wow. Jackson Sr., um, uh, Alderman Kerry Austin, Alderman Brookins, um, a number of the state uh, state reps like Al Riley, uh, a number of commissioners like Stanley Moore. Yes, sir. So we have a number of, I think, very impressive and significant uh, endorsements. Yes, sir. Uh, we have the experience. We have the qualifications. And we have the compassion, we yeah. have the desire, and we are on the victory train headed towards 31516. I know that's right. What do you think is the main, you know, focus, you know, once you get in? What do you think there is a, a dire need for at this time? I, I think there's a dire need for um, diversity on the bench because I think that you uh, become what you can see. Yeah. And I think that particularly in the criminal justice arena, for the sake of the people who are appearing before the bench, you need the kind of diversity that says that we have not only fairness, but the perception of fairness as mm. well. And you can't have that perception if you don't see anybody in power or in control in the courtroom who looks like you. Mm. So we do need that diversity. We also need people who to hold the state's attorney's office yeah. to the standard of justice over convictions, mm. you know that's a very strong race, and I'm supporting Kim Fox as is. Uh, yes, uh, as should most of so yes. as should everybody in Cook County. There, there you go. Uh, so I think those are the things that are going to be the focus. And for me, it's about it's going to be about uh, learning my craft as I change careers from an attorney advocate to a neutral magistrate, mm. and uh, doing the best job I can and making the the Cook County proud that it put me on the bench. I'm mm. so proud of you. Yes. Oh, thank you, sister. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> yes. That is awesome. Listen, you all, we're about to get ready he to get out He made me want to be a judge. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's right. <laughs> Punch that number, 244, 244. And uh, listen, we're, we're, we're claiming it. He is our new elect judge on Tuesday. He will be. We're claiming it. Pray for him. You all as well come out on Tuesday. Go out. Let me change that around. Go out and vote. 244. Punch that number. What you say, uh, Judge? 244 more? 244? Who could ask for more? Woo! Punch you all. <laughs> Listen, until next said, Friday. Until <laughs> next Friday, you all go out Tuesday. Punch 244. And we'll see you on next Friday. Tanya. Love, peace, and soul train. Thank <laughs> <laughs> <Later>, you all. <laughs> God bless. <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all, wow. <laughs> like, he always said, love, peace, and soul. I mean, right. like soul train. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> it's like being on a roller coaster. Right. <laughs>